What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, we are back in my shop. It's been a few weeks since I have came here to work on any of my cars, but today, I'm back and we are going to be finishing this S13 project that I started about two or three months ago. And as y'all can see, it's freshly painted. Look at that, but it's not assembled or anything. I put this thing off for a few months now, but I'm back, we are gonna finish this thing, and before we can assemble anything, we have to go ahead and paint these pop-up headlights that I already shot primer. we just have to sand it down and spray it with some color and some clear, and then we can get right into assembling this car. The fenders are already painted, they're all covered under there, as well as the front bumper. So only thing left are those headlights. So let's go ahead, sand those with some 400 grit sandpaper, and then we can get right into spraying. I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand this because when you sand primer, it's way easier to wet sand it. Your sand paper doesn't get clogged or anything. So I got my spray bottle, 400 grit, and a softball. Alright boys, check it out. Everything is all sanded down and prepped and ready for some color. Now let's go ahead and mix up the base coat and get right to spraying. What's up guys, it is now the next day. We got the headlights all painted. Check them out. They are finally red and the same color as the car. So that means we can go ahead and assemble everything today. We gotta put on these fenders, the bumper, install all the lights, like, like the turn signals on the bumper, headlights and everything. And hopefully, if everything goes right by the end of today, we'll be able to see the S13 in one piece. So, let's start out by zip tying the harness back onto the tough front end, so it's not dangling like that. We gotta do it with this side, and with this side. Alright, the entire harness is all zip tied now. We can slap on the freshly painted headlights. Both headlights are mounted and ready to go. Next up, we have the fenders to mount onto the car. In case you guys didn't know, these fenders are OEM fenders and they did not come with the car when I bought it. Let me show you guys what fenders came with the car. So when I got the car, it came with these super shitty damaged Duraflex wide fenders that were cracked everywhere. So I went ahead and swapped it out with the OEM fenders. And since this front end is tubbed for the aftermarket fenders, the holes don't really line up, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab some self-tappers, drill holes where they fit.
both fenders are officially on. We got the headlights on and everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead, slap on the turn signals onto the front bumper, and then we can put the last piece of the puzzle, which is the front bumper, onto the S13. Man, I'm so pumped to see this thing all put together. It was a piece of shit before we painted it, and now it's even less of a piece of shit. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Oh my God, this S13 is looking so clean. All right, now that the bumper's out of the way, the only thing we have left to do, I just remembered, is we have to install the hood latches or hood pins, whatever you want to call them. I already went ahead and put in this little bolt thingy, whatever you call it, but I realized that whoever installed these last did not do them properly because if I place them down, look at that, it doesn't line up properly so I can't close it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bust out a grinder shave this edge down so I can go ahead and push this whole piece over to the left and then it should fit perfectly. I really hope these sparks don't fly in my face. Yeah, they're definitely flying out my face. Nope, we gotta do some more. Check it out, y'all, watch this. Ooh, the hood latch is officially on this side now. Before when I bought the car, it only came with one hood latch and that was on this side. This was the only side done properly. So in order for him to prevent the hood from flying up, he literally had a ratchet strap connected from the hood to the tub of the frame in order to keep the hood tied down. It was so ghetto. Insert the clip right here. So the only thing that's holding the hood latch in is this ratchet strap right here. It's pretty ghetto, but I'm glad we are now able to get on that hood latch. And you know what, let me go ahead and slap on the other one real quick. Y'all, I done fucked up, so <laughs> compare these. That is unlocked. You see how the lock is going straight up and down? And this is sideways, so this is freaking locked and I have absolutely no idea where the keys for these things are, so fuck. I can't even unlock this to put them in. Like, bro, oh my god. Fuck, working on my car never goes right. I'm gonna go ahead, try to use, I don't know, a screwdriver, flathead, some picks to see if I can unlock this real quick. I'm praying that I do. If not, I'm literally gonna have to go back to the ghetto ass ratchet strap styled hood. So crossing my fingers, I don't have to do that. Fuck it, I'm really about to drill through this lock right now. That did nothing. Look, it's so close. Come on. Oh, oh, we did it. Hey, let's fucking go. Damn, okay, I'm pretty proud of myself. I did not think that was gonna work out and it doesn't look like I destroyed it very much. And so I think this will keep the hood on. That's all I need. I don't really care about having the key or anything. Check it out. All right, y'all, we officially got both hood latches on. Now this car is now complete. We finished everything. We got the whole front end on. We got everything good to go. Now it's time to jumpstart the S13 and pull it out and show you guys what she looks like with the fresh new paint job. Okay, it's been a while. Let's start her up. Damn, it's dead, dead. Fuck. Maybe second time is the charm. Okay. Test number two. If I can find the right key. Fuck. Too many 240 keys. Damn, nothing at all. Okay, we're gonna have to jump this car.
Got the battery hooked up to my daily driver. Now let's see if the car will start. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. That's a good sign. Oh, she is alive. Let's go. Oh my God. Ain't that a great sight? I haven't heard this thing run in like a month and a half. You guys already know what time it is. Let me go ahead and show you guys the freshly painted S13. Cue the cinematic. guys i'm so pumped to see the s13 now completely finished let me know what you guys think about the s13 how did it turn out and did i pick the right color i went with this oem nissan red because i think it looks so good on a stock s13 but let me know what you guys think and what your opinions is on this color but look at how gorgeous it looks oh my god this thing is fucking mint now when i first picked it up this thing was looking a little clapped the front end was a whole different color there was damages all over the fender the hood the bumper not to mention the whole ass front end tub thingy was completely rusted it wasn't even painted that pretty much wraps up today's video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me working on the s13 and wrapping it up until next time peace out oh and don't forget to like comment and subscribe